In this video, I'm going to show you a really good setup out of the bunch formation to be able to beat 30 yard cloud flats, the double maple meta, and really I think have um, just kind of a different little approach to uh, reading the defense and attacking in kind of a different way than we're used to at a bunch. Now, if you are new to this video, I'd really encourage you to click the subscribe button. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player, to help everybody, and even myself included, uh, become better at this game. I'm trying to get better, and as I get better, trying to pass along the things that I learn uh, with you guys. So if you want to get better at the game, I'd encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to run my Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks where we teach you the ins and outs of how to be a better Madden player. So if you wanna check that out, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the membership site and uh, you can go become a member today. Okay guys, we're gonna be taking a look today at the play Z Spot and Go or Z Spot if you want to run just regular old Z Spot. I like Z Spot and Go out of the Seattle playbook. This can be found in almost every bunch formation. But this is such a good concept for beating 30-yard cloud flats. You might be thinking, well, you know, I run this play, but it doesn't beat 30-yard clouds. We're going to give you a setup today that will absolutely uh, torch any kind of zone drop meta. It will torch match coverage, and it just takes a little bit of a different twist in the bunch formation um, than I think people have been using so far. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so Z-Spot and Go. And I've got the meta. I've got Mike plus three. And we're just going to set up a double Mabel. So if we just run this kind of the traditional way most people run it, they put a streak here, and then they typically put like a dig. And what you'll see here is Godwin will basically be covered to the sideline. You see how that guy can basically play that all the way to the sideline. This is one of the problems. There's not a whole lot of corner routes in this year's game that are really that good at getting over a 30-yard cloud. However, there are post and crossing routes that are really good at beating a 30 yard cloud, which is what we're gonna teach you today. So what we're going to do here with this is we're going to streak the circle receiver. We're still gonna put that dig route on the back side, but now we're going to motion Godwin to the left and we're gonna wait for him to set his feet. Why would you wait for him to set his feet? because you want this to have a smooth route run. If not, the timing won't work properly. And what you'll see here is now you have a Y cross concept and he will run over a 30 yard cloud all the way to the sideline, even on the short side of the field. So this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game. Uh, and the reason why is because you don't have to send five out. You can block your tight end. If I want to block my tight end and do something like this, maybe an out route to my running back, and then on the back side, I can do anything. I can leave him on the route he's on. I could put him on a curl. I could put him on an in. I could put him on a comeback. I could put him on a smart route it out. There's so many things you can do uh, to build around this. I like the five or 10 yard in or a curl. Those are my favorites. And just do something simple like this. And as you can see, you've got your pull route, and then look at this thing, just absolutely torch the defense. One of the best crossing routes in the game disguised as a corner route. Now, another thing that we can do with this is actually take advantage of this little spot route. And the way that we'll do this is we're still gonna motion this guy over, but now we're gonna streak our tight end. And then on the back side, what I like to do is you can kind of leave the route that Evans is on or put him on a comeback. I'm gonna put him on a comeback. Now, this is a little bit more of an interesting concept, but what you'll see here, you still have your pull route, but you'll notice kind of a sneaky laser up the seam. It says Z spot and go route. What makes this, what makes this route go is the fact that we have a you, you, you might want to actually, you know what? Let's do it. There. Let's do it like this. Let's wheel the running back and drag Mike Evans. So now you got a little bit more of a natural high low. This wheel will pull a third and then your, your route to circle can kind of like sit in the seam for you. Now, why would you want this to happen? 
a lot of times, if someone is running a double Mabel, they're the only player in the middle of the field. And so he now has to make a decision. If he goes with the crosser, I want you to see what will happen. So on this, this is just an example of him going with um, the crosser. Now, if you wanted to streak Mike Evans, you could. Um, you could definitely get away with streaking him. Uh, for this example, now we're just going to show it like this. And what you'll see here is he's going to go with the crosser, which leaves that right there wide open, like literally wide open. And what most people do when they run a double Mabel is you actually will get a cover two on one side of the field and a cover three on the other side. Well, cover two is actually not that complicated to get out of the way. The best way, in my opinion, is to wheel your running back. So we're going to go with a drag and that wheel setup. And then now you have a high-low between your drag and your crosser and your streak, which has to be usered. And then look at this thing just kind of pop in the middle um, in, in kind of a unique way. So you can kind of use that um, as a baity, as like just kind of an interesting little concept that you can kind of build around. But again, my favorite way to run this play, keep it real simple, we're just going to motion this guy over. A lot of times people don't expect this post route. They're going to expect some other concepts. Um, they probably honestly suspect him to be on a streak. Uh, but then you could do something like this. And then now you have, if you wanted to leave, you know, a curl on the backside, I don't think that that is bad by any means. I think that this setup right here is really simple and really effective. And you have the ability, again, to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud guys i want to thank you for watching this video it's real simple setup out of z spot and go but again i think it's just one of the best in the game and the reason why is because again we take a creative look at how we can manipulate zones getting over the top of them and still have a check down on the backside like a curl or a hitch um, if you wanted to put your running back on an option route and then you put this guy on a smoke screen this is kind of a unique way to run this now you can playmaker that hitch if that's not there. Then you can hold it and you can hit this guy over the top for a massive gain. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, there's a link in the description where you can go check out our Patreon page. It's only $10 to sign up for it. And you'll not only get access to our Bunch offensive ebook, but you'll also get access to over 28 Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks that help you get better at this game. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the guides, the link is in the description.